Hello, my name is Kyle Vanderskaff, Applications Engineer with CyberOptics. I'm here to walk you guys through the CyberCMM software suite. So what we're doing is we're gonna be post-processing the AOI results and kind of manipulating those results to create datums, uh, measure in reference to those datums. So we can do an XY datum and as well as a Z datum for height measurements. So you can measure height relative to a Z surface um, or any data that you create and manipulate based off those AOI results. So it's kind of segmented in three different sections. First, we define the component groups, so which components you want to measure. And then we have a measurement function. So here's where you create your datums, um, create your measurements and specify if, what datums you want to reference to. And then you have your measurement steps, so like what you want to measure. If you want to measure position, X, Y offset, um, height, um, we have a lot of different functions here. So here, I'll first I'll go through our how to create a datum. So in order to create a datum, you need to have a line and a point, or a point and a line, some combination of that. You can use two multiple lines to create a point, and where, the, where those lines intersect will be that point, and then use one of those lines to create the datum. So if I hit inspect here, you can see that we're using these fiducials. Um, we create a line from the top one, so a horizontal and a vertical line, where those lines intersect, they create a point, and we use a point and a line to create this datum. So you can orient this datum to change your orientation um, for how you want to reference based off of your drawing. And then we can, once we have this datum created, we can then reference it for future steps. So that's what we're doing here. We are measuring our true position of a component relative to that datum. So we have this connector. Um, so this is kind of a big thing for a lot of customers that are in the automotive industry, especially with LEDs. There's some headlights that have to basically have LEDs in a certain distance from maybe a through hole part or a, some tooling hole for the molding. Um, so a lot of our automotive customers have purchased this um, software interface to then do that measurement for them and do it in line so it's really fast and they can do it easily in production. Um, so here you can see we're basically measuring the offset and we can out and we can control these outputs so we can output just the X, X position, the Y, and then also the true position relative to that datum. And so we can also do the same with for this, we have an example of the shielding. So we have the shield reference to the outer edge of the PCB. So a lot of like bare board manufacturers, if they want to measure trace, make sure it's not bleeding out anywhere, we can basically measure across that line and then output the minimum distance, the maximum distance relative to it. Um, so we're creating lines and then doing a distance to that line. You can do a min and max there. And you can control and set your tolerances. So then it will actually flag during production if it's ever outside of the tolerances set. And then also for our Z height, we can create a Z datum. So what we're doing is we're creating a regression across multiple points to create that height reference. And then we can measure in relative to that height. So here we have some mean heights. If I inspect these, you can see we'll output the Z height for how many components. And then we can also do what we call coplanarity, where we're essentially doing a flatness test across them. So we're doing a regression across them and finding the distance to the plane that we created and then we do a max minus min to get that result. So here's kind of the math behind it that we kind of break out inside this coplanarity test. So you can see my flatness result is 12 microns across those. Um, so this is a big thing for measuring warpage like through a thermal process. So you can measure at multiple points across this process um, from the beginning to the end and kind of see how that thermal expansion and contraction um, affects maybe the warpage or the flatness of their components. So these are just a couple examples of some of the tests that we have. If I create another one here, you can see our full list of all the different finding tools and I guess measurement capability that we have available to the user. And we can also do some different statistical analysis as well, or different statistical tools to kind of manip manip manipulate the results that they have. And so you can get it, and the, the beauty of the CMM is really that how, I guess, flexible it is. You can control the output names that you want, and um, that can be easily integrated into an MES system or anything that you need there to help monitor and control certain metrics that you're looking to track throughout your process. So there's just a lot of flexibility and control that is available to the user that maybe a lot of our competitors don't have available to them. Um, so again, the advantages of CMM is that you're able to quickly measure through your production process, and then you'll be able to do it in line and a lot of flexibility with it on those measurements. So quick, real-time results coming back to you. 
and it helps you basically reduce your cost to create product. Um, one of the big things that we usually try to do as well is try to get the drawings from the customer and then we can measure according to your drawings so the tolerances are set within those drawings. So you, if you have like a flatness call out or a true position call out, some things in the drawing that we can measure to those specifications and flag any defects. For the advanced packaging um, industry, we're measuring a lot of solder balls so we can measure copolinearity across a lot of solder balls and um, find the minimum height. It's easy to identify missing ones, but sometimes you just have a lopsided solder ball. You can then measure the volume and we can output the volume across all them and also measure the height so it's slightly off from the rest of them. We can flag oblong solder balls versus a missing one as well. Um, we can also measure basically any encasing molding on the advanced packaging as well. If they want to measure flatness across those or make sure any dispensed bleed out is happening, we can capture that as well, um, making sure that dispensed material isn't landing somewhere where it shouldn't. We can also output that information so you can kind of gauge and then be able to adjust your inspe or inspection and injection um, process. And for our mil spec customers that want to do maybe some reverse engineering of things, we can output a 3D mesh file or a point cloud format. Um, so we have actually a couple different formats here. We have a PLY format, a OBJ format, and XYZ format. So we, during the inspection process, we're creating a height map and measuring the height of our boards and we can then output that essentially and then you can manipulate it in your own like Polyworks software that you can then view it and then make any adjustments and get measurements and do any analysis that you'd like off of those data points.